ever been in a conversation where you struggled to maintain any kind of momentum or had awkward silences? Chances are you have just like the majority of people in the world today. However, in this video, we look at how you can keep a conversation going using the Ford method. Not only will this help you keep a conversation going, but it will ensure you don't run out of things to say even if you sense an awkward silence. Number 1. What is Ford? Ford is an acronym that stands for Family, Occupation, Recreation and Dreams, which are the different subjects you can talk about to keep any conversation going. You can do this by asking questions related to these subjects and also let the other person know about you, meaning it's a natural back and forth. The method itself works in all contexts of conversations, as it can be adapted for formal events or generally in social situations, and is a great way to have an engaging and interesting conversation when you meet someone new and are learning about them and their interests. Number 2. Family It's always good to have a few general family related topics or questions ready for any situation, as not only is this common ground everyone can speak about, but it helps you get an insight into the person. For example, the question might be as simple as, do you have any siblings? Or if you're getting to know the person, you could delve a little deeper such as asking how they met their partner. The point is you need to adapt the question to your relationship to the person, as it can be very uncomfortable to delve deep into the psychology of a person's relationship to their strange parents when meeting them for the first time. However, when talking about family, you can often find common ground to speak on, such as your kids might go to the same school. Number 3. Occupation one that's naturally going to come up when working with someone new, but one that can also be discussed with pretty much anyone on meeting them, ask them about their occupation. It could be a simple start, asking them what they do for a living, which can be small talk to begin with, but can help you delve deeper into the conversation. That's because you can further ask questions to learn more about what they do, the impact they make and what they might be looking to do in the future. People often relate these subjects to their own circumstances and job, developing a greater appreciation for the line of work someone else does. Number 4. Recreation The most common thread of discussion when meeting someone new, it's always good to find out about interests that someone has and what they like to do to relax or have fun. Often this can lead to finding new common interests, such as similar tastes in music or movies, as well as letting you learn a little about their personality. It can also lead to other interests that can help expand your views on the world, such as when people talk about experiences they've had when abroad. What's extremely beneficial in this process is it helps you build a more personal connection making it significantly more likely you'll enjoy each other's company more. Number 5. Dreams Everyone has aspirations in life and can become highly engaged when encouraged to talk about the direction they want to take their life in. I wouldn't necessarily lead with these questions, maybe waiting to learn more about the other person's personality first mostly because people may not always find it comfortable or easy to talk about their dreams, which can be quite personal. However, it can lead to giving great insight into the person and their personality, as you can have quite a pointed approach, such as asking is there any place you would like to visit, or you can ease into it naturally. Personally, I often pick up on something they'll say about themselves and lead the conversation in asking what they would like to do. Such as if someone is learning to play music, I might ask, do you hope to perform in front of a live audience one day? Have you heard of the Ford method and if so, do you use it? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.